you. Hi, everybody. This is Dave Vellante, and we're here at the Hack Reduce with Adam Fuchs, and he's the CTO of, of Squirrel. Adam, I want to, first of all, welcome. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for coming on. Now, I want to geek out a little bit with you, if you don't mind. Explain the tech behind the Accumulo project and what Squirrel brings. All right, so what we're trying to do is bring big data, security, and analytics all together, right? So what we've done is we've taken uh, Google's big table design, uh, we've extended it by adding cell level security in, uh, and we built uh, a wide range of design patterns on top of that to build complex analytics, right? When you bring all three of those things together, you get a nexus, right, which allows people to just innovate, right, around big data, right? Yeah, so, so the, 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 the project came out of, a, really a spawn out of big table, right? You guys saw a big table and said, hey, we can improve upon this, is that right? Yeah, right. So we were working at the National Security Agency on this, and we were trying to solve big data problems, uh, but also a lot of multi-level security problems. So we looked at Google's architecture and said, oh, this is a pretty good start for our design, right? We took the big table paper that Google published, uh, and we started from scratch there, built our own version of that, uh, threw in some techniques from a whole bunch of other infrastructure that we've been developing, and uh, voila, you get a cumulo out of that. So you guys talk a lot about cell level security, and after studying this and talking to some people, my takeaway, and I, I wonder if you could confirm this or maybe course correct it, is really what you guys have is a, a multi-tenant NoSQL database for the cloud at massive scale. Is that a right, the right way to think about this? Yeah, I mean, that's part of it, right? But you got to think about what do people do with, with big data in NoSQL databases, right? Uh, a lot of times, you know, people have uh, row-level security databases, which will protect things that come from different sources. They'll have column-level security, right, which protects different schemas. But when people do big data analysis, they flip the data on end, they pivot it, right, and the row boundaries, the column boundaries, they don't match anymore. So cell-level security allows you to continue that security, that, that uh, data-centric security model <laughs> into the application space. What's the performance impact of all that you know, security code? Um, talk about that a little bit. Yeah, so the nice thing is that with cell level security, uh, the combinatorics, uh, although you know, they're possibly huge, in practice they're actually pretty small. So I might have a trillion entry database that's got a thousand different unique security labels. Right? So we can use that fact to uh, both compress well and also cache results of uh, computation. And it, it ends up being the uh, cost of performance is negligible. It's actually... So if you tried to apply this tech to a traditional database, NoSQL database, it would, it, would it bring it to its knees? I, I think if you tried to, you know, kind of couple it on top of it, that would be a challenge. Yeah, there's a lot of optimization that goes into Accumula to make it work well. Well, listen, congratulations on getting Squirrel off the ground. We'll be watching. I really appreciate you taking some time with us. All right, keep it right there. We're right back.